In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a website using Google Sites. So if you want to create a website for free, but you don't have much knowledge of how to create them, then Google Sites is the place for you. Because it's extremely simple to use, but it has a lot of features to make your website look good. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is reach Google Sites. So just go to your browser, make sure that you've signed in with your Google account, and then just search for sites.google.com. So once you reach this page, you can find your Google account on the top right and the site will be linked to this account. So now you have two options to create a site from scratch, which is the blank option over here, or else they have some pre-made templates, which you could check out. So in this video, I'll show you how to create them from scratch, but you can quickly go through the templates. If you just click on template gallery over here, then here you can see all of the templates which they have. So whether it's work or personal or education, you'll find all of them over here. And if you want to use one of the templates, you can just click on it and then start editing them. For now, I'll just create a blank site. So I'll click on blank that's over here. And now we've reached the site builder. From here, you can create your site. For now, as an example, I'll create a site for my YouTube channel. So the first place to start is by adding a title. And you can do that on the top left. As you can see, it's written enter site name. So I'll just enter it over here. And if you want, you can add a logo as well. So just click on add logo. Then click on upload that's over here. So I've selected this logo. And as you can see, it's come on the top right. Once this is done, you can add the title to your first page. So you can just call it home if you want, or you can call it the name of your website. That's up to you. And as you can see on top, we have many formatting options. You can change the font, the font size, make it bold, italics. You have all of these options over here. Now the next thing to do is add pages to your website. As you know, all websites have multiple pages like home, contact us, about, etc. So now we'll add them to our site. Here on the top right, you'll see that it's written pages. So just click on it. And here we can add all of our pages. So just click on the plus button over here and then select new page. So I'll quickly add some pages for my channel. For now, I've just added these three pages along with the home page. And as you can see, they've come on top over here. So now if someone clicks on it, you can see they've been taken to the home page. For each page, you have multiple options like duplicating it, deleting it. So if you click on the three dots next to a certain page, you can see all of the options over here. And one of these options, which I like is adding a sub page. So if I just click on that, then I can add a sub page to the videos page. So under videos, if I want to have a page called tutorials, I can just add that as a sub page. So now, as you can see, I've added two sub pages to videos. One is tutorials and one is tips and tricks. So now if someone hovers their mouse over videos, they'll have two options to see tutorials or tips and tricks. And one last thing about pages is changing its order. So let's say I want to have the about us page after contact. What I can do is just drag it below contact. And as you can see, it's changed over here. Now that you know how to add pages, I'll quickly show you the different themes which they have. So if you just go to the theme section that's over here, then here you can see some of the default themes which they have. So you can pick whichever one you like. So let's say I like the theme vision. I can just click on it. And as you can see, they've made a lot of changes. So from the color of the menu to the font and even the background behind the title, they've changed all of that. So if you want to change the background image, you can just click on change image and then select any image which you want to add. So for each theme, you have a few colors which you can pick from. So as you can see, these are the different options which they have. And if you want a custom color, just click on the last circle and then you can pick whichever color you want. Now that we've added pages and changed the theme, let's actually start building our website page by page. 
Before designing your page, there's one more thing which you need to know, and that's sections. So each page is divided into different sections. So as you can see, this is the header section, and now I can add the next section below this. So to add another section, what you need to do is drag one of these elements from this page over here. So this is the insert page. And now if I drag one of the elements, let's say this one, it's created its own section. And there are a few options for this, like deleting it, copying it, or changing the color. And you can edit each of these sections. So since the section which I dragged had a picture and text next to it, if I click on plus, then I can upload a picture or a video from YouTube. And then on the right, if I just click on it, then I can add a heading and a few lines about it. So essentially, whilst designing a page, all you have to do is pick elements from here. So they have a long list. Based on what you want, you'll find all of that over here. And then all you need to do is drag it on to the website. So let's say I want to put a text box below this section. Then I can just click on it. As you can see, it's gotten added over here. And if I want it below the video, I can just click on these dots over here and then drag the section below. So this is basically how you can design your website. You have all of these options over here. So I'll quickly show you some of the elements which I like. The first one is to add images and it's very easy. Just click on it and click on upload. As you can see, the image has come here and then you can resize it, you can move it around and that's how it works. Then button is another useful element. It's basically like a hyperlink, which if you click on the button, it'll take you to a certain page. So I'll show you how it works. I'll just click on it. So if I call it videos, then I can link it to my videos page. Then I can move this around. And this is how it looks. If someone clicks on this, it'll take them to the videos page. And the last one, which I really like, is social links. So I'm sure you would have seen a lot of websites. At the bottom, they'll have the Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and you can do that using social links. So just click on it. And here, you'll just have to type in the URLs. So now I've added these two links and I'll click on insert. And as you can see, the icons of YouTube and Instagram have come here. And again, you can make a lot of changes, like changing the shape, the color, you can do all of that from here. Now the last thing that's left to add to the page is a footer. So a footer is basically the bottom most section which will be seen on every page on the website. So to add one, just take your mouse down and click on add footer. And then again the same way, you can type in whatever you want. As you can see, I added the social links over here. So now on every page, people can just click on these links to reach my YouTube channel and Instagram page. Now I'll quickly show you some more settings before we can publish this website. So just click on the settings icon over here. And here you have a few useful options. So the first option mode is basically where the menu will be. Currently, as you can see, it's on the top, but if I want, I can put it on the side. So now to go to different pages, you can click on the three lines on the top left and you'll see all of the pages over here. Then the next setting is adding a favicon to your website. So a favicon is basically this picture over here. So it can be a small image that will be seen next to your website's name. So you can change that from here. Just click on upload. And now it's done. Then if you want, you can add a custom domain. So if you already own a certain domain name, then you can link it to your Google site. But I'll be making a detailed video on how to do this. So now we've reached the last step that's previewing the website and publishing it. So if you click on this icon over here, that's to preview. Here you can see how your website looks to a user and you can change the view. So currently it's on a laptop, but I can change it to a mobile by clicking on this icon over here. And this is how the site will look on a phone. So once you're done with this, all you need to do is publish the website. So just click on the publish button on the top right. Then here you can add your own web address. And once you're done, just click on publish. And now it's published.
And if you want to share the site with others, you can just click on this button over here, which is to copy the link and you can copy it from here and send it to others. So this is basically how it works. And if you want to know how to get a custom domain name for free, check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.